Well, after scientists unlocked the secrets of the human genome in 2003, there was immediate concern about how that knowledge might be abused. Now an East Bay entrepreneur wants to put gene editing power in everyone's hands. Normal scientists, they want to study like how fruit flies have sex or something. Something that nobody really cares about. And what I want to study is how do we make dragons or superhumans or something like that. You're a part of me. And I'm a part of you. He operates a company called The Odin that sells gene editing kits with all that's necessary to create your own genetically modified organism. The kit teaches novice scientists how to inject tree frogs with a type of human growth enzyme that causes the frogs to double in size in about a month. Something's wrong with me. And if you ask yourself now, was it the correct thing to do to allow people to have access to computers? There's nobody in the world who would say no. When you make a technology available to everybody, innovation happens. Once they see Ginger and Fred, don't you think the world's going to want to know what's next? Do you think they could really look at this face and see anything less than a miracle? You got to tell them silent green is people. We've got to stop. Hello, I'm John Walsh. If you've got any information, please call the U.S. Marshals at 1-800-336. Um, also, there's another story that relates to this a little further south in California where people are getting letters of exemption so they don't have to get the vaccination. What can you report about that? Bill, this is a disgrace, and it's a study that came out in the journal Pediatrics this week, and I am hoping that the doctors that are responsible for this get prosecuted. Say what? 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 Just get prosecuted. Dirty, rotten, dirty, evil, scheming, devious, bitch. Prosecuted. <laughs> There was a very contentious committee hearing yesterday when Fairfax County Delegate Kathy Tran made her case for lifting restrictions on third trimester abortions as well as other restrictions now in place. And she was pressed by a Republican delegate about whether her bill would permit an abortion, even as a woman is essentially dilating, ready to give birth. And she answered that it would permit an abortion at that stage of labor. Do you support her measure and, and explain her answer. If a mother is in labor, I can tell you exactly uh, what would happen. Um, the infant would be delivered. Uh, the infant would be kept comfortable. Uh, the infant would be resuscitated if, if that's what the uh, mother and the family desired. And then a discussion would ensue between the physicians and the mother. So, so I think this was really blown out of proportion. So I think this was really blown out of proportion. I think this was really blown out of proportion.